If you've ever been to a motorcycle track day, you probably experienced that lighter bikes just seem to have an easier time than heavier bikes in the corners. Why is that? Let's do a thought experiment. We're the engineers working for Yuan Mir in MotoGP. He comes to us and asks us for more corner speed, and we're like, sure. So we reduce his motorcycle's weight from 160 to 120 kilograms. We also ask him to cut 5 kilograms of his own weight because we can't have the engineers do all the work, right? We do all the right adjustments to the suspension system for this new mass. We also assume that the center of gravity is magically in the same place. We have the same tire pressures and the tires are still with an operating temperature in the corners. So with these adjustments, will Joanne now be able to carry more corner speed? Yes. And there's one big reason for that and two smaller ones. The biggest reason is that the forces acting upon the tire will be reduced. The centripetal force that acts upon an object in a circular path can be described by where Fc is the centripetal force, R is the radius of the corner, M is the object's mass, and V is the velocity. Fc is the sum of forces that the tires have to generate to keep the motorcycle on the same path with the same speed. See what happens if we reduce the mass. Less force acting upon the tires. Now some of you might say, wait, wouldn't the tires be able to handle more lateral force with more vertical load? Yes, they would, but at a diminishing rate. This is commonly referred to as tire load sensitivity. To understand how this works, let's first have a look at how fast Joanne can go through a corner with his original GSX-RR. We will use a simplified equation for how fast a motorcycle can travel through a corner. Here V is the velocity, mu is the coefficient of friction, Fn is the normal force, and R is the radius of the corner, and M is the mass. It is simplified because tire friction cannot be described by F equals mu M. Tires generate friction through adhesion, deformation, and wear. I made another video explaining this right here. For the purpose of explaining tire load sensitivity, we can use this simplified equation. So say Joanne is riding his original GSX-RR through a corner with a radius of 200 meters. He didn't cut his weight yet, so the total mass of Joanne plus gear plus motorcycle is 237 kilograms. Some sources I have found claim that the maximum sustained lateral G's MotoGP rider C is between 1.5 and 1.6. So we assume that the coefficient of friction is 1.5. That means that Joanne's maximum speed through this corner is roughly 195 km per hour or 121 miles per hour. Now Joanne cuts the weight and we make his GSX-RR super light. Total mass 192 kilograms. Because of tire load sensitivity, less vertical load means the coefficient of friction will be higher. So we assume that we now have a coefficient of friction of 1.6. He can now go through the corner at roughly 202 km per hour or 125 miles per hour. Another reason is that he's going to need less lean angle for the same corner speed and radius. When Johan is hanging off the motorcycle, he is displacing the combined center of gravity of him and the bike, which reduces the lean angle of the motorcycle. We can do a fairly simple calculation to see how much he can reduce the lean angle given the old and new total masses. We make the following assumptions. We can see that at 10 degrees on motorcycle lean angle, he can reduce it by 8.7 degrees on the super light version as compared to 7.9 on the original one. This advantage goes down at deeper lean angles. This is obviously not some astronomical advantage, but it's a benefit nonetheless. What we have to consider here is that lighter bikes often have narrower tires. Narrower tires require less lean angle for the same given corner radius and speed. This is because the offset between the center line of the motorcycle and contact patch grows as we add lean angle. The third reason that lighter bikes can corner faster is because they have less unsprung mass since the brake discs and calipers can be smaller. Also, as we already discussed, most light bikes have narrower tires which are lighter. So what does this mean for a regular track day enthusiast? Well, for us, it's very simple. Lighter bikes corner faster. And... It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Cause baby, I feel real good and I wish I would. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Everybody watch out, watch out now, I'm ready for a good time, and I came to grow the whole